and welcome back to Homeschooling HQ. I hope you've enjoyed the lesson so far. Don't forget to share what you've done on our social media. Now, in today's lesson, we're gonna look at making some maths games that will help you practice any of the maths that you're struggling with. So what you're gonna need for this is, you're gonna need some colored card. I've already cut my pieces up. Maybe some felt tips, pencil, a ruler, uh, some counters, I've got some different thumb ones there, some dice, and definitely a big piece of paper and A3, but you can use an A4 if you want. The first thing you need to do is draw yourself out a template similar to a board game. I've based this one on a Monopoly board game. However, you can do lots of different designs. I've just done it like a strange snake one, or one I've just drawn freehand like so. So for this board game, what I've done is I've added some different colours, which are gonna um, match the different colour bits of card, as you can see. Now I've just got to add the blue ones in, so I'm going to add those in. Now obviously this design is completely up to you, you can leave blank squares or you can add extra little bits in. I've got a miss a turn, pick at any card one, I could even have pick two cards or roll again. So that design is completely up to you. Now this game here I've kind of designed to cover all the different maths operations. So the yellow cards are for addition, the orange ones I've got some multiplication, the green, I've got some subtraction, and the blue ones, when I do them, are gonna be for division. So obviously you can adapt this to your children, okay? So if your children are just doing number one to 10, you can do that with your addition, or they're maybe struggling with some of the multiplication and division uh, calculations, maybe with a five times table, or a three times table, then you can adapt them to suit their needs. So obviously you're gonna need some rules to be inserted into your game so that you know how to play it. So that's what we're going to do next. However, I have already done this with Bella and these are the rules that we came up together. Now writing rules is a really good writing opportunity for children and there's lots of language in there you can talk to them about. So I'm just going to have a little go at writing some of our rules for our game. There's great, lots of great um, time words that you can use when you're writing your rules. So for example, first. Roll the dice. Next, count out the spaces. Turn over the card. And answer the question. Now in our game, we decided that we would keep the card if we got it right, and the winner would be the one with the most cards at the end. Okay, so let's have a go at the game. Take my die, roll it, got number two. I'll move my count, I'm gonna do the dog. One, two, always make the children count, always count with them. Daily counting is fantastic. One, two, so I'm on green, I've got my question. Ooh, 20, take away or subtract 17. Now, in my game, I've got to get that right to be able to keep the card. Mm, I know that that answer is three. Check with everyone else. Everyone agrees, I get to keep the card. So this game covers all the four different math operations, but you can adapt these games to make them easier for maybe the younger children or children who are uh, struggling with certain parts of the maths. For example, you could do one for like number bonds to 10 or to 20. I've just done a simpler sort of board to play on. I've got a green one there where I've already done some subtractions and I could make some orange cards with some additions on. So I'm just going to make some cards just to help the children practice with number bonds to 10 or number bonds to 20. I could just simply write those on there. 10 plus 5. Or I might want to be a little bit easier. 5 plus 3. And we can just keep going and make lots of cards with those. And again, we can just play the game uh, just as simple as last time. Roll the die. We can form our rules first with our children, make sure we've negotiated with them how we're going to play and how we're going to win. Um, roll the die. Remember the, die, uh, the counting. One, two. Pick up an orange. Again, one plus nine. If we get it correct, we can keep the card. Or you can make your own rules up how you want to play the game. Now, I can always swap these cards out as well. I can, these are number bonds, but these orange ones I've done are some times tables, and they were specifically looking at the three times table. Uh, and I've also put in some true or false questions, okay, just to make it a little bit different, some division questions. And again, I can change my green one, it might be another times table that your children are struggling with. 
and you can swap those green ones out and make, make some different cards. Again, just changing it all the time um, and helping them out with something that they're struggling with. Now with these, I've also got other board games I've made that you can see. I've got, again, back to the number one to 20, a nice different board there. And again, counter-wise, go and find your old board games. These are off Monopoly. Uh, you can find counters off um, Snakes and Ladders or even off Connect 4. And I'm sure you'll be able to find dice in there as well. Making board games like this is a great way to get your children to practice their maths, whatever they want help with. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to post your games on our social media and we will see you next time at Homeschooling HQ. Bye now.